I am 44 years old and have eight track suits, the same color and size. I weigh 352 pounds. Ooh. And I'm as tall as a six foot tree. Welcome to the New York Lottery. I enjoy entering the lottery and have chosen the same numbers for nine years. Those numbers are three, five, six, nine, two, eleven, seven, and twelve. Eight. Are you a winner or a loser? I have had many different jobs during my life. My first job was collecting subway tokens in the subway. My second job was at Yiddle's Gourmet Kosher Supplies, where I worked at the machine that made prepackaged noodle kugels. I was born Jewish and used to believe in God, but have since read many books that have proven God is just a figment of my imagination. People like to believe in God because it answers complicated questions, like where did the universe come from? Do worms go to heaven? And why do old ladies have blue hair? Even though I'm an atheist, I still wear my yarmulke, as it keeps my brain warm. My third job was for a company that printed logos on novelty items. I worked at the Frisbee printing machine. A Frisbee is a circular plastic disc that people throw at each other. It is like a boomerang, but it does not come back. It was when I was called up for jury duty. I didn't get paid much but got free cookies and coffee. The jurors are outstanding members of the community who haven't murdered anybody. I made it to the short list for a trial where a man killed all his friends at his own surprise birthday party. Unfortunately, I didn't get selected because they found out I was a garbage collector. I got to clean up after litter bugs and didn't have to talk to anybody. Sometimes I used to pretend I was an intergalactical robot. One time, the police took me in for questioning, but let me go when they decided I wasn't a threat to anybody except myself. The sixth job I had was for the United States Army in the stationary supply department. Because I'm good with numbers, I had to work out how many ballpoint pens the Army needed. One day they did a security check and asked whether I was a member of any radical groups. I told them I was a member of the New York Science Fiction Fan Club. They said this didn't count, but dismissed me anyway. Fortunately, I did not remember to tell them I was once a communist. Have you ever been a communist? Have you ever been attacked by a crow or similar large bird? When I was nine, a crow attacked me on my way to school. I had to have three stitches. And in spring, I now wear a helmet with eyes I have painted on. People laugh at me when I wear my helmet. I'm not sure why. People often confuse me, but I try not to let them worry me. New York is a very busy and noisy place. I would prefer to live somewhere much quieter, like the moon. I don't like crowds, bright lights, sudden noises, or strong smells. New York has all these, especially the smells. I often wear a nose and earplugs when I go outside. That helps keep me calm. I find humans interesting, but I have trouble understanding them. I think, however, I will understand and trust you. You appear very happy, and I think you would smell like a shrimp, as I know Australia has a lot of shrimps. Can you speed read? I have taught myself to read two pages at once. One eyeball per page. I have to go now. Even though I have not told you about my seventh job. In a condom factory. 
Right back soon. Your American friend, Max Jerry Horowitz. P.S. Please find and close the photo from one of those booths. P.P.S. Thank you for the cherry ripe. And I am glad you like chocolate as much as I do. I have never eaten sweetened condensed milk, but I will try some this week. P.P.P.S. I have never used a condom. Max hoped Mary would write again. He'd always...